Is it possible to take a blurry video and actually turn it into something usable? Today I'm testing AI Arty Video Enhancer, an AI tool that claims that it can deblur your footage. So AI Arty is a next-gen video enhancement app that runs directly on your computer. It uses a mix of diffusion and GAN models to recover details, clean noise, fix choppy motion, and even save you from blurry videos. AI Arty runs locally on your machine. This means you're not uploading footage to any servers and you don't need internet connection while processing. So your files stay private. This is what you'll get once you open the app. AI Arty gives you multiple AI models. And honestly, there is no single best one. Each is optimized for different footage. So you want to experiment. But here's a quick test. If we select mode detail and we to exit and we click preview, this is what we get before and after. Let's test the smooth HQ. Let's test the super video. And I think this is the one that they were recommending for this type of footage. So before, after. Oh yeah, this, this looks better than the previous one. Before, after. Now let's take a look at a different scenario. And for this one, I believe they recommended the mode detail before, after. Oh, well, it does look natural. Let's test some of my clips. This is the before with the mode detail. And this is the after. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks better, As, especially this part over here. I think this one is for the face. So let's see it. Okay, this is the before and after. Again, the environment looks better. Let's zoom in on the face. Before, after. Let's preview this frame. Before, after. Zoom in on the face. Well, you decide for yourself. I think it does look a little bit better because it makes the environment a little bit better. And let's check, check the last one. Now this is the before and the after. Zoom in, in on the face. Yeah, this one, the super video is doing the most work here on the face. And as a whole, I think it's the best one for this particular scene. And I have another clip that I want to try. This one has a lot of details. So before and after. I think this, this definitely did very good. Let's try the super video because turns out this might be my favorite. But again, every model is for different scene. Yeah, I like this. But what are the best practices and what are the AI Arty suggestions for using their app? Test different models for different shots. Don't use the same model on a range of different scenarios. So your night scenes will be different to your close-up shots. Don't jump to max upscale. Do two times and then two times again to achieve four times. Don't just go 4x. I don't know why they have 4x then. Use the trim tool to test 5 or 10 seconds before rendering the full clip. This is very important because render times are very long and very heavy on your machine, but I'll get to that. And if you want speed, enable the turbo mode. But keep in mind that you're trading quality for speed. So is AI Arty worth it? For old footage and maybe smartphone clips or low light clips or like you saw the clips with a little bit of blur, it's helpful. It can recover details, reduce noise and upscale to 4K. There's a little bit of a learning curve though. But once you dial in the right AI model with the right export settings, the results are pretty good. And the fact that you get a lifetime license for that price and it's not a subscription makes for a very interesting product. And on top of that, constant updates coming your way. But if it works locally, what about the system requirements? Whether you're working on a Mac or a Windows machine, 16 gigabytes of RAM is a must. My machine is a MacBook Pro M1 Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And even for these short clips, it still started a fan and got the back of the laptop heated. Nothing dramatic. Still, I don't recommend you rendering files a minute or longer. That is if you don't want to torture your laptop. 
or a machine. Even if you have the MacBook Air M4, which is actually my working laptop for the past four months now. To see my review and thoughts on this laptop, click right here.